Hi everyone! This quick video is all about my first experience with heat treating stainless steel so it might not be interesting for everyone and if it's the case with you please skip this one and we'll see you next week with another video. So stainless steel has a much more specific heat treating process compared to plain high carbon steel and there are also many kinds of stainless steel and they all have somewhat of a different heat treating process. The one I have here is called MA M4 MA5MV, but it also has many other names depending on the manufacturer and or the nomenclature. But the composition is pretty much the same, so the process I'm about to show you will be the same for all these kind of steel. From the data sheet of the steel I have, I know it can be water, air, oil, and plate quenched. And as you already know from the title of the video, I will compare oil and plate quenching. And to do so, I made these two identical blades that are already ground and everything. And I will quench one in oil and the other in two plates. And if the treating process goes well, of course, I will finish this one and there will be a video about that. Before we move to the heat treating process, I want to just quickly show you how I made this plate quenching setup that I have here. And even if I made it with reclaimed materials, and most probably you won't be able to find the same exact things that I have here but you know, just to give you an idea Alright, so these are the two plates that I have and they are 15 mm thick and as you can see they are just long enough to fit in the blade so I need to fill these holes and to do so I want to pin a 10 mm aluminum round stock inside so I just cut a short piece of it and then I enlarge the hole with a 10 mm drill bit and finally over to the anvil I try to pin this so that the round stock expands and fill in completely the hole and I think that it should be just fine for an application like this the thing seems to hold in quite nicely so it's just a matter of repeating these three steps for all the other holes and I will end up with a solid aluminum plate Now with a file I'm flattening the side that I want in contact with the blade and I'm not going too crazy with this, I'm just taking out the high spots and with the orbital sander I just give it a quick and uniform finish. So of course I did this to both plates and now I'm clamping in a piece of steel so that I have the right spacing between those two. Then I mark the position of these small brass hinges that I have and I center punch this all so that over to the drill press I can drill all these out. And then finally, I'm just tapping out this hole with an M3 tap. And yeah, this took some time, but it came out nicely, I think. And yeah, this is pretty much it. You can see how this sort of jig works. And as you can see, it's really very simple. So now we can move on to the heat treating process. The two blades need to be cleaned real well. And I'm using nitro solvent for this. And with stainless steel, when you heat treat it, you can't just leave it like that because with oxygen, I think it loses carbon. So yeah, you have to seal it for good. And I'm using this specific steel foil 
and I'm packing the blade real good. And I'm also inserting in a small piece of paper that will burn out and hopefully consume all the oxygen inside this pack. With both blades well packed, I can insert them in the oven and I also place in a piece of mild steel that will be used later to heat up the oil. Now the temperature for this steel is 1050 degrees and it took 47 minutes for my oven to reach this temperature and then you have to leave it the blade at this temperature for 15 minutes. And this is why heat treating stainless is pretty much impossible without a temperature controlled oven. So after 15 minutes I take out one blade and I quench in plates. And as you can see I'm using a clamp to lock two plates together and I'm blowing in compressed air to hopefully make it cool even faster. Now for the oil quench I first heat the oil with a steel block that I placed inside the oven earlier and then I take out the other blade and as you can see the foil stuck to the blade a lot so it was really hard to peel off and it took me a lot of time and of course the blade pulled off so yeah we'll see how this went later. And really I don't know why but this foil really stuck to the blades, maybe I'm not using the right one, but it was really hard to take off in both blades. Finally for the tempering, I'm placing both blades in the oven at 220 degrees for 2 hours. And after that the heat treating process is complete. So now we can check the hardness of the blades. I'm using these hardness test files that goes from 40 to 65 Rockwell. And just to give you an idea, here I'm using the 41, that is the softer, and it's not scratching at all the surface, it's just slides on the blade. And on the other hand, here is the 65 Rockwell file, and this one immediately bites into the steel, and you can really feel it grabs, and so that means that the blade is softer than 65. And I know it's really hard to see the scratches, but by feel is very very easy to tell. So now I'm moving up from the 40RC, and I'm trying every single one, until I find the one that bites. And for the plate quenched blade, that is the 60RC. So we know that this blade has an hardness between 55 and 60 Rockwell. And I'm very happy with this number because it is exactly what I was expecting for this steel and the tempering temperature that I applied. Now I'm doing the same exact thing for the oil quenched one, and this one didn't turn out as hard as the other one, so the 55RC files already bites into the steel. So to conclude this, we know that the oil quenched one has an hardness between 50 and 55 Rockwell, while the plain quenched one has an hardness between 55 and 60 Rockwell. And here you have it, both blades are now heat treated and ready for handles. And even though both came out well hard enough, I think I won't ever try again to heat treat stainless in oil. And there are two main reasons for that. The first is that taking off the foil from the blade before oil quenching took a really long time and the blade cooled off. And that has to be the main reason why the oil one is not as hard as the blade quenched one. And the other reason is that the one that I quenched oil had a real huge bend in it and I was able to take off most of it in tempering but I would prefer to not have to deal with it and the one that I plate quenched was completely straight so yeah much better to plate quench. So from now on you will see me plate quench stainless steel and I will probably upgrade this one to a better and bigger one and I like a lot the one that Jeremy from Simple Little Life made a while back with a woodworking clamp and if you're curious about that I will leave a link in the video description with that video. And I think that's all. Thank you a lot for watching and see you next time. Bye.